Now we're gonna talk about the optic nerve. This is the nerve that is gonna bring visual optical information back from the eye and lead to vision. And our goal here is to understand a few key concepts about vision, uh, the difference between focus and fixation, and the difference between a problem with vision and a problem with uh, gaze control. Okay, so let's start with fixation and, and, and focus. Uh, when I look at something, I fixate on it. I put, I put my eyes into position such that the light from a, a, the object that I'm looking at is focused, light is focused upon my fovea, the center of my retina. So I fixate, or I look at, and light is focused. I do not focus. <laughs> So I do not focus on something. Um, light is focused onto my retina, and it's focused onto the correct part of my retina if I fixate uh, correctly on an object with both of my eyes. The second thing that we have to understand is the concept of visual field. And you may have been introduced to this before, but this is such an important concept that we're gonna repeat it a, couple, a few times. You must understand this. And furthermore, you must be aware that the vast majority, virtually all of the lay public is not going to understand this. They are gonna use different terms. So let's be clear about that. So visual fields, where I fixate, the, the fixation spot, where I'm fixating upon, what I'm looking at, Everything to the left of that fixation spot is the left visual field. Everything to the right of it is the right visual field. That, that holds true whether I'm looking forward or whether I'm looking off to the side. If I'm looking off to the side, still this area is left visual field and that area is right visual field. It's all with respect to the fixation point. The way that people will talk about this is they'll say my right eye isn't working I can't my right eye doesn't work when what they mean is my right visual field is is somehow there's some problem with my right visual field they are the concept of visual field is simply um, very poorly understood by by the public you need to understand what a person is telling you, and then you need to talk to other physicians um, using the correct language of visual fields. Now, a person comes to you and says, I can't see, or my, there's something wrong with my vision, or there's something wrong with my right eye. Now, there are two possibilities, and we need to be able to distinguish between those two possibilities. One possibility is that indeed there is something wrong with the visual pathways. The retina is, is messed up. The um, optic nerve or the, the visual pathways that go beyond the optic nerve that we will go over uh, eventually. The other possibility is that there's nothing wrong with the visual pathways at all. The only problem is in the alignment between the two eyes. So if one eye is looking here and the other eye is looking there, what you're going to get is two images. This is double vision. It is going to look blurry because it's two different images coming into the two different eyes. You have to be able to distinguish those. That should be something that you, you automatically are able to do. So how would you do that? Think about it. How would you do that? Well, if there is something wrong with um, an eye, with the visual pathway, if there's something wrong, I'm sorry, if there's something wrong with the visual pathway, then it will not matter whether I have two eyes open or one eye open. So if I am seeing blurry and then I close one eye, I should see blurry either in, in this eye alone or in this eye alone but if I only see blurry when both eyes are open, then I have a problem with misalignment. If I can see perfectly fine with, one, with my right eye open and perfectly fine with my left eye open, then there's nothing wrong with my visual pathways. There's only something wrong with the alignment between my two eyes. So one is a gaze control problem and one is a vision, visual pathway problem. 
that has to be uh, delineated right off the bat. Okay, so now we're gonna um, we're gonna move from um, uh, that's all we're gonna say about the optic nerve. We're gonna go into the visual uh, fields and 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 optic path or visual pathways a lot more in the future. But suffice it to say, if you if you if an optic nerve goes on the fritz, you're going to lose sight in that one eye, but not in the other eye. That is a, um, that's a blindness in, in the one eye. And now what we're going to talk about is what happens a lot. A lo um, I don't know if it's more common, but it's certainly quite common, is a problem not with vision, but with gaze control. So we're going to talk about extraocular muscles.